Hey guys, this is Knack Stack Pack with 44 Gaming, and we're going to continue Leon's story through the RPD. Really prefer the PlayStation 1 where they say Resident Evil 2. There's just something about it that's so much cooler. Alright. Ow. Where was I? Okay, we got the diamond key. And... Thinking we just came from there when we ended. Okay, we got some plugs. So I think uh, the remake's definitely the scariest. There's just something about this one that just does it for me. Like the remake's good and all of the of two, but this one's where it's at, at least for me. I love the remake of two as well, and I fully plan to play it on this channel. But this game's just—it's great in every aspect for me. Have I gone over here yet? I have not. Which means we're gonna see some zombies. I hope. Ah, crap. Zombie are waiting for me. Okay. Well, let's. Let's try to get rid of some of these zombies. Okay, I remember this code. Oh, and I screwed it up. Okay, 2236. I don't know why this code is always stuck in my head. There's something else in here, if I recall. Uh, maybe not. I should be fine for now. Is there anything out here? I do not remember. Green herb. Better than nothing. Take that one just in case. Anything else out here? Not really. It's good enough for me. I'll head back out. Back in. A heart. Heart key. Okay. So I see you're alive, zombie. Okay. That was actually something I never knew until this game, is you can see that zombie turning his head and watching you. That is... Never knew that until started playing this with you guys. I was actually playing Silent Hill with a friend a few weeks ago and he talked about how uh, 
Silent Hill 2, he was blown away that James would look at objects or whatever um, if there was items in the room. And so for whatever reason, I just started kind of watching for that and was playing this the other day on my first upload and I happened to notice a zombie did that. And it wasn't even really when I was playing it, it was when I was, uh, I rewatched it, make sure before I uploaded it or whatever. Oh, crap. Oh, we got past him. Alright, let's see here. the blood. I also didn't see a second zombie. Alright, so... While I love the Crimson Heads of the remake, I do like the regular zombies at the same time. Because if any of you are watching the remake, uh channel I have been very neglecting very much neglecting uh torching them and I'm starting to regret it uh this was one of the biggest jump scares for me as a kid let's I didn't know if I was going to be able to get straight out like that. If I remember right. I can go in on this side and he won't jump back through. Never mind. Yep, I think uh, leaving's acceptable. Did I end up taking that extra green herb? No, I did not. Okay. Let me go in here. Club. I don't have the club key yet. Okay. Let's see if I can get this first aid spray and get back out. I'm good. So while I'm running through this, though, a uh, question I was thinking of asking is, do you guys think I should do two games a day, or do you think I should do, like, one game a day, you know, four days a week or something? Um, any input would be greatly appreciated. It doesn't mind. I don't have any issue doing two games, you know, one day a week, but, like, uh, maybe doing two days of it or something. Um, so in total, it'll be like four different games. Or if I did Resident Evil Remake and Resident Evil 2 together twice a week, um, just kind of depends on what everybody would want. Or if you guys want me to do like Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil Code Veronica, that would also be cool. I am down for about anything with it. Let's drop off that plug and the shotgun shells. Let me 
leave that spot open for now. I think I get the crank in here. Yep, right there. See that pistol ammo? There we go. I was hoping it would let me take it. Sucks when you do something. Sometimes have to leave the room to reset the puzzle and then go back in just so you can get an item like that. So I was hoping it wouldn't make me do it. Sure, have the key for it. Yep. I think I'm gonna have to kind of spam this door for a minute. Running through with just a pistol might not have been the smartest idea. Well, running through currently. take the film uh dang it i believe that one's just a picture of a uh, like an umbrella experiment or a zombie who shotgun ammo i will take that all right time to find our favorite police officer outside leon I never re remembered the zombie here that was decapitated already. But I remember the Will Smith looking cop. I didn't know his name for the longest time. that A button. Find anything. 
I still find good. Right now, I have to go do uh, that light puzzle. I don't remember how to do it very well. Oh, I thought that was the heart. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I guess it's not time for that. Um, that one, basement time. That's right. Okay, I think I'm gonna save before I do that, though. Because I don't recall being very good at the, the basement portion of this way back when. It's probably been 10 years since I played this game, I think. At least all the way through. I think the last time I played it was right around when I started hearing about uh, it was Resident Evil 1.5. It's cool. I've, I used to read on Resident Evil all the time when I was younger, so I was surprised I never heard about it. But like, it sounds like people really got together and made a fairly functional version of it. And I mean, that's just awesome. I've always wanted to learn how to make a video game. It's like probably one of my like biggest hopes and dreams. Really, is to like be a story writer or voice actor or something that would be cool but for now I play Resident Evil alright let's get to that basement let's go meet Mr. Ben Bertolucci Yeah, I've already been in here. Let's go grab a second green herb. I remember when that thing a zombie wakes up when I come back up. I already took both of them. Okay, never mind. We'll just head straight down. Shotgun shells, club. Go meet Ada. Wow, chicka bow wow. But that's what Leon was thinking when he saw that red dress. Those report. 
reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Okay, I'll help you. I just want to look around for a minute, Ada. It's so one thing that would have been really cool is, uh, I think it's in Resident Evil Outbreak File 2, when you play in the RPD, you can go right over here and there's a secret little exit out to the uh, tunnel underneath the entrance to the RPD. It would have been cool if it was in Resident Evil 2. But in File 2 of Outbreak, they are also is in the third floor of the RPD, if I remember correctly. As there isn't in Dark Side Chronicles or uh, Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles for the Resident Evil 3 portion. something else that would have been super cool would uh be the fact that like in outbreak file 2 uh there's prisoners or you know people in jail in that cell and it would have been cool if they were still in there as zombies or something in this one let me guess. or be dead, right? a note saying no. hey we let now. them out would have been super cool which I know Outbreak File 2 is made after the fact, but would have been neat. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find. And who the heck are you? His name's John. <laughs> He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, you're going to have to leave with me. But... Do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, we know. See, in this game they call it manhole opener, but in Half-Life they call it crowbar. So I wonder which one it actually is. <laughs> I prefer Ben's rule on this one too. I mean, they're fairly similar from this one to the remake, but the fact that he's just like a little cocky and also trying to get you to get away versus the Ben in the remake of 2 or whatever, he's just, you know, trying to get out because Iron's locked him in.
If I remember right, these guys break out later. Ah, come on. There we go. Forgot about the spiders. Run, run, run. Ooh, let me past. I won't hurt you guys if you don't kill me. Alright, let's see here. I believe this is a safe station. So we're gonna save it real quick, and then it's Ada's portion of the game where she gets me the. I believe the last key for the RPD. as well as put that in there um, take this I want to combine it yeah now we're gonna drop in a save This is where I could drop off some of the plugs if I wanted, but I'll probably do them all at once. So this is one thing I, I liked as well as this, like, all the plugs and stuff were throughout the RPD instead of in the sewers. I think it was just them trying to extend the sewers a little bit, but I don't know, it just took away from the RPD for me a little bit in the remake. But at least we have bathrooms. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. zombie dogs throughout here. Yep. Let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty... Okay, I remember this uh, puzzle. Alright, let's lower that water back down. I'll tell you what, I think part of what a lot of these games age as well as they have is the pre rendered backgrounds. Like, Remake looks is probably my favorite looking pre uh, render background game. Like, and I, I understand, you know, that with today's technology, we really don't need it, but part of me still wishes we 
did do the pre-render backgrounds because man they just looked so good and just nostalgia it just I mean like even this like uh if you compare Dino Crisis which was uh made by the same creator as the director of the first Resident Evil Shinji Mikami like they did the 3d render backgrounds and like they look okay but it's just not the same I mean it was cool to see that it could work but Like these backgrounds you see a lot of I don't know I feel like life I guess in the environments and I love it cool I got that club key now I think I'm able to get like some ammo or something real quick Yeah, whatever, Ada. Let's get back to Leon. Leon, can you hear me? Hey, did you find him? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Alright. Th I'm thinking I'm going to start taking a shotgun with me now. I can get rid of those spiders for my return trip back through. another save real quick though just in case I know on the remake I'm a lot more conservative on the saves but I don't know why I just don't trust this game as much to not die I'm waiting for something to come out of nowhere and just rip me apart probably got to do with the G-Virus stuff in this game work out too bad for me on this time or for this time so I love how some of this game set up the like you know hey you want to you know, get a key for the RPD. Well, you're gonna have to go to the sewers, and then you're gonna have to go to the sewage waste disposal facility to get the get the key to come back to the RPD, and then and so on and so on. Oh, and you want to get into the sewers, where well, you're gonna have to look through the RPD for all the plugs. But I know I said something about how I like that about this game versus the uh, remake, but. I was expecting the dog still, not the liquor. I feel like I'm supposed to do something in here. OK. 
Okay. I think I have to go get a key card or something, but I don't recall for sure, but let's switch to that shotgun just in case. With the liquor. that up on my word return trip look at the map real quick and then we'll go from there I believe this has to do with the uh, all the plugs throughout the building and how he designed a lock around it. There's the magnum, so I'm going to have to get that on my return trip as well. I don't remember if that zombie ever wakes up, though. Something I really don't remember about this game. Although it's not often a zombie just lays there for no reason. One thing I want to do, I think before I go too far, maybe is uh, wire up that wall. Let's see here. Do I have any other? Room that hasn't really been unlocked. Oh, got third floor, but yeah, not really. Cool. I need to drop off an item at the item box, so so let's go hit that, come back, figure out that puzzle, and then go get the last plug, and should be pretty uh, easy and straightforward. Still off for now. There.
I think I should have played Claire A. Leon B, because I think that was supposed to be what was originally canon for this game before the remake came out. But, like, when I grew up, I always did Leon A, Claire B. I never really considered uh, switching it until uh, one day a friend of mine pointed it out. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it pretty much did it for me. Let's take this. Cool. Let's take that first aid spray. Let's go wire up that one wall real quick before that gets overran. So when I go back for that magnum, I can, or if I have to come back or anything, it'll make it easier. Might seem like a lot of unnecessary backtracking, but I, I haven't played this game in so long. I don't remember exactly when the zombies start coming through windows and stuff. So I figured I better just take care of it now versus later. I might as well just grab that magnum now too. This last puzzle done. Boom, done with all the keys in the precinct now. I mean, pretty much done with the precinct after this and the final plug, so. Is that right there? Is that more film? Yeah. Let's skip on the film. That was one of the aspects of this game I really wasn't a fan of way back when. Okay. Uh, isn't there a. Is it this it? I have the queen, the king, and the jack, and then the carriage will start running. So the queen, the king, and the jack. So. as a kid struggling with that but that was pretty uh, easy so well I guess that's what I get for being goofy as a kid all right well let's roll I 
I know we're passing that 45 minute mark, but I'm going to try to finish up the RPD before I go too far. Since we're right there, I think I'm going to keep my videos between the 30 and 45 minute mark. Um, I feel like that's just probably a good amount of time where it's not getting too long and not too short and not overstaying my welcome. But I am going to push it a little bit today just to finish up the RPD. Crap, another liquor. That's all right. You can hang out here. I won't have to deal with you again, I don't believe. If I remember right, there's a chute straight to the basement. There it is. See, I couldn't remember when it was, but... I knew it was coming. Not gonna go down yet. I will in a moment. Oh, I was thinking that I started working after and gave you something. I couldn't remember. All right, now I suppose I'll go down. All right, let's do this. I also remember when I was a kid, like fourth grade or something, I for some reason mistook that as Nemesis, which obviously is incredibly wrong, but I had a friend at school who was obsessed with Resident Evil Nemes uh, 3 Nemesis, and he described him to me, so that's what I thought when I came through on this. I was like, oh, was that Nemesis? I thought him, that being there, and William Birkin were two different things. Obviously they weren't, but I didn't know better at the time. Bitter irony. The chief of police. A co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh. My chest. It's burning. I also thought how the G embryos ripped out of a person in this one was a lot better than the remake, how they just burst out of their, like, their uh, diaphragm or whatever. And this has to do with uh, Chief Irons being 
uh, dirty or, you know, taking bribes and so on. Um, and how he worked for William Birkin and went down there and uh, went to meetings and all sorts of stuff. So basically just saying that, you know, Irons was definitely a bad guy. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Is there anything else good in here? No. Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, miserable death. That's terrible. Alright. Let's get up to the next save room and that's where we'll end it. We're now officially done with the RPD. Alright guys, so I think that's where we're going to go ahead and call it quits for the day. Uh, I do apologize for going a little bit over my the mark I was wanting to do, which was about 45 minutes. But um, hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked it, give me a like. If you can, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bar. And uh, we'll see you next time.